So, as with the Nexus SL, you have uh, an interval control. Now, if you turn it anti-clockwise, you access the, the octave control. So, you've got uh, an octave below your, your root note, the note you're playing, um, and that can be slightly modified by the focus. You can hear it's a more dramatic effect uh, using the fifth interval which plays a fifth above whatever note you're playing. Um, if you dial it anti-clockwise, you get more of the root note. At 12 o'clock, it's kind of an even balance of the both. And at, uh, you turn it clockwise, and you get kind of the emphasis is more on the fifth. And obviously, you can, you can dial it in between all of those sounds, so you can sort of mix it exactly how you want it. I feel like um, this touch control, because it accesses the tube, you really, those kind of overtones come across uh, and it's hard to place where they are frequency-wise, but it kind of just feels almost easier to play or more vocal, I would say. Not only is the Nexus SLS an awesome head, but you can use it as an audio interface, uh, recording your bass into whatever door you're using. 
So the TUSB, uh, the tube USB connection, um, you can play through it, record uh, clean, direct sound, and then you can reamp it later on through the front panel and uh, dial in your the sound that you want to use. Obviously, with Skin Dread, we we go through different genres, predominantly rock music and reggae and drum and bass, and so with that, a lot of uh, I sort of accommodate that with a lot of the sounds that I use. So uh, I use some synthy stuff, some subby. things like squelchy noises um, lots of different bits and pieces and then like really gritty over distorted things um, I found the Nexus SL and as with this amp uh, and these cabinets, they actually really deal with all of those things great. Like there's nothing that I've sort of done and thought, oh, it's not being represented the way I want it to. It's, it's kind of got a cleanness, but then it's got its own vibe on top of it as well. It's great. The Nexus SLS uh, not only has all the same features on the front panel as the original SL, but it has all the same features on the back, all the inputs and outputs, uh, the DI, the USB, the tuner input, the effects loop. Um, it's half the power, but with all the features as the original stuff.